You're live, buddy. I'm live. Hey, guys. What's up? Well, I'm not going to hear you because I'm too yeah. far away. May, May, May. Great to see you guys this morning. Hope you're ready for the store tour. Let's, Let's go. get started. Oh, wait. We promised we'd show the new product. Okay. Is it in the store, Amanda? Yes. Okay. So, we promised we'd show you. I'll show you. We've been doing glitch glitch patrol this morning, so that's why we're late getting to you guys. So we showed you. We we told you we would. What am I saying? We told you we would show you the new product this morning that we didn't show yesterday, and so this is the first one that I'm super excited about. Prepare to see this for Christmas presents in July, because I'm doing. I want to focus a lot on gifts. I want this to be cool to do some um, poured paint poured gifts. Yes, they're all available in the store. So check this out. This kit, this is why I wanted this one. This kit comes with a drop cloth, popsicle sticks, one manual, which is good, a canvas, 10 cups, two gloves, a fluid ounce of silicone oil, nine paints, and they're two ounces each. And that's what I loved about it. But I think it'd be a cool starter kit, but then you could take all these because you'll never use all these in one pour and do other things. And this one right here is the oil that makes it do all that pretty Da, 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 da. So and I'll be doing a video. A lot of those in because we want to see how people react to it and see what they think. So. The other thing is, you, I'm going to do a demo of this on the Product Parade channel, not on May May Made It. So be sure you're subscribed to Product Parade. That's where stuff like that's going to start living. Then this little guy. So we have. Um, we should show the glitters. I'll go. I'll, this is in the store now. This is the Nuvo um, Craft Spoon. It has like a little ladle down here, and well, I guess that's more of a ladle, and that's more of a spatula. But they're not spatulas. They're spoony. See, it's spoony. <laughs> Open that so I can show what I mean by spoony. Spoony. <laughs> this. How much more clear could it be? It's a new shimmer spray. And this little guy right here, you get two in a pack. And Amber wanted me to make sure I tell you guys, hang on one second, that the picture is deceiving. Look at this. This is the size of them. There are two of them. It's the size of my hand. You do get two, but this is a beautiful shimmer for your cards, which I'll, pr I'll spray this in just a few minutes and show y'all. This is the cutest embossing folder. Look at this folder with the balloon dog. Did you do this? I think I did. Yeah, it's really, really cute. And this one's in store now and perfect for ink dragging. So that's a good one. All right, here's what I meant by spoony. Can you hold it like that? I can hold it ever how you tell me. Please. Hold it sideways so I can do this. Sideways. Watch. Here's what we're going to do. See, it's spoony. See, my finger goes in there because it's spoony. I think you can see it if you turn it. Oh, well done. There we go. It's spoony. Amanda said it looks like, give me your finger. No, your fingernail. Let's show them your great fingernails. Okay, look. She says, number one, it looks like a fake nail. Like those little toy ones. Yeah. Or number two, it's a cuticle pusher. <laughs> <laughs> and this side is also spoony. See it? It's spoony. So, this is for glitters. We'll go look. At, I'll hold it in my hand to show y'all what it's for so I'll remember. All right. You ready to show the tour? Question, oh, time out question. Sorry to interrupt, but you've got the... The one you've got me signed in under, is it okay if I post under that name? Is yes. Okay. Uh, Gareth just said, I have to read this to you. Wait, babe. <laughs> Wait. Gareth said, oh my, I log on to YouTube and Maymay and Vinny are spooning. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Okay, let's see. Let me start here. Sure. Okay, so anything you see up here is definitely in the store. But <laughs> when we get so. to the store, you may see more stuff that's not up here. That's right. That's okay, right. so... So here you have the uh, Nouveau embossing mousse and the different colors that it's available in. Do you want to show have... them the samples? Oh. See how pretty? Brenda did these. So these are our tester um, stencils. And Brenda did all these. Um, hold the spoon. I got the spoon. <laughs> Brenda did all these little testers, all these little samples for us. Look how pretty this is. This is one of the colors. Oh, we need to mark what color these are. Did you hear that, Amber Reno? All these testers she did, so we know what colors they are. She dragged, is that the word, dragged, some of the mousses across the embossed paper, which is gorgeous. I'm pretty sure that was this one. Pretty sure it was. Looks like that and something very dark. Dish one, I think it was. And then she did some stencil work. You can see the stencils. Oh, she did write it on this one, look. French rose. Oh, you did these? Yeah. Shannon did these Look samples. The ones that I have wrote down. Oh, aren't you something? So you did this one? Happy Friday, y'all. You'll be able to tell we're pretty. Oh, look how pretty that is. 
I like it. This one's called Spring Green. Okay, here's some more samples that Shannon did. Look at these. Shannon, this is pretty good. Glimmer Paste and Cornet Red. I mean, Garnet Red. Cornet? Okay. This one is Golden Crystal. Isn't that beautiful? Let me get it in the light. Hold on. Look at the shimmer on that. Look at the sunlight shining on that. So pretty. That's my favorite stencil, by the way. The one that looks like damask. And this one is Rich Cocoa. Look at it. Let me get the shimmer. There it comes. So pretty. Okay, so you guys can see when you come into our store, there's testers for you guys to try things out with. There's testers here as well. These are distress sprays, what we have. We have tester um, we have tester paper for you, tester stencils, tester um, spatulas. How many times is maybe I'm going to say tester in this video? A few. A few. <sighs> These are more of the pouring paints, which you're going to see me using those for Christmas gifts this year because I think it's cool. There's the new pouring paint set, and mm -hmm. this yep is the box to spray testers in. <laughs> you gotta have a test box. Um, this, oh, Amber's gonna be mad, I'm showing her desk. Mm. This is the purse we're giving away. If you have not signed up to get the purse mini album, Vin, you wanna help me? Yeah. Will you hold the bottom? Absolutely. He's done this a couple times for me because we had to do it on our YouTube. There's the mini album. That's how it works. Isn't it cute? And this little dude we are giving away do it one-handed. There we go. It's impressive that you could do it one-handed. I know. So we're giving that away. So if you want to enter to win that, here's the stencils. stencils. Here's the stencils. We have lots of those. They're really, really, really cool. And art glitter glue is selling out up here. We I need to fill this up. We usually, this time of year, we'll have this display full of art glitter glue. But as we sell out in the back, sometimes we have to come up here and get some. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's a little bit naked. Okay. Okay, now we've been spooning, and I just said naked. <laughs> well, demonetization. There we go. <laughs> Here's our Talk Couture area. Um, Amanda and I and Vince leave for Talk Chalk Con next week, so we're excited to learn about the new products that are coming out with Chalk Couture. If you've ever thought about signing up for Chalk Couture, this is the time, because the new catalog comes out the end of summer. You want to get in on this. This is how this works. And if you want more information, you can email Amanda about it, and she will get you the info. Look how pretty that is. I can't wait to show y'all my home tour. I have had to take a break. I thought I was going to be able to film it this weekend, but I couldn't because the shower curtain for the boys' bathroom has not come in, and the bathroom cannot be shown until then. Mm. It was supposed to be here last week, but now it's being held up. Um, this is our books. You want to do a spin? This is our books. This, these are our, no, no, darling, not not you spin. Oh, good. No. <laughs> But, but I like how you just do what I said without me even trying. Okay, spin the books. Here's your Alabama cookbooks. Some of y'all won those when Vinny was doing his giveaway. Here's your KJV. Here's another Alabama cookbook. This one's really good, too. I like that one. This one right here. By the way, there's some um, recipes from our town in these books. Yeah. And then these two right here are my two favorite things. I don't even know why these are still on the shelf. I got to show y'all these. Here, you hold the camera and come over here. I, actually, we just got these back in. All right, can you focus on that? All right. These are prayers to share, 100 pass-along notes for hope. And what happens is you get these little notes in here, and it says it's a prayer that you pray for someone, and then on the back you can leave them a, a note or a letter. Wait, I'm trying to show the back. You can leave oh. them a note or a letter. And the thing is this, they're so pretty put inside of greeting cards for people, and they're beautiful. And we had a group of ladies the other day, like 14 ladies, and they all left with these because they're perfect for cards. And oh, like yeah. leaving on restaurant tables and stuff like that. So we have two of those, two different ones of those. We also have another KJV. We have two colors. We have the dark one. By the way, I want to show them this. Come back over here. This might be a long tour because I want to show stuff. I feel like shopping. All right, so this one right here, I want to show you all the text in here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful and easy to read? For those it's of us, It's a large print. For those of us with us over 40 folks. eyes. There, it's beautiful. It also has the tabs. And I got to tell y'all something. One time somebody asked Joyce Meyer why she has tabs in her Bible because she can't memorize the books. And she said, oh, really? She said, you know, I have a hard time knowing why I walked in this room, let alone where something is in here. She said, so I, the tabs help me. The tabs slow me down right now, but at one point in time in my life, I'm sure they will super they help, will me. help us. All right, so there's that light brown one. And let me show you the dark one. These are great Christmas gifts, by the way. They are beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful Bible. Look how easy to read. Love this. 
love it. We gave our pastor one. He saw one Vince had, and he asked for one, and he really likes it. Or at least he told me he did. And I feel like I can trust him. Jesus Calling, you want a good Christmas gift? Vince gives these out at Christmas. Even the hardbound book is beautiful, but this leather-bound Jesus Calling is incredible, isn't it? It's amazing. We don't have a whole lot of those left. We've got those. Um, I put that in the wrong spot, didn't I? Yeah, but it won't matter. The Word to Color. These are so pretty. Look at these. You, Somebody gave me a little clear acrylic... Um, picture frame and they colored several of these and put them in the frame and you could change them out it was a really are we back no. refresh i think we are back for some folks but not for everybody yep we're back betty that's a great question betty's question is how can we buy something from you online well you can go to www.maymaymadeit.com and you can find all the goodies there in the store. Yep. www.maymaymadeit.com. Let me show you. In case you're new here today, this is it. maymaymadeit.com. And that's how you can find us there to shop. How about ribbon? This is my favorite. I told Vince we're an official craft store because now I have a ribbon wall. I have to show you all this. You got to come shop in our store, y'all. You got to come shop in the store in person. So Shannon did this for us while we were gone on the cruise, and I love it. These are samples of all the ribbon we carry. So when you come in, you don't have to open a ribbon. You can just go right here. She even put the names. <laughs> you are She's something so else. Fishy. Look at this. So cool. Each row has its sample, so you can touch and feel the ribbon so you know what it feels like and how it will work. And then each one is right here beside it with the price and the size and everything. You know where this comes from? This comes from a girl who likes to buy ribbon and hates to buy open packages. Y'all know when you go to a store and like there's only three left and you need all three and one of them's been open and played with and bent? I do not like that. So if we do this, you guys can touch and feel without having to open packages. Y'all know. <laughs> you matching the camos? You don't not match exactly. it. She gone. <laughs> I think we're back. Are we back? I think we're back. Crafty said, she gone. <laughs> I think we're back. I think we're back. Okay, we're back. All right, we just left ribbon. We just left ribbon. And now we're going to go to markers. Now, our markers need to be refilled up here. We had a lot of them go out the door recently. I told you we had some big parties come in shopping. <laughs> so our markers are uh, not as full as they should be. This right here is... So our markers are... Uh, not as full as they should be. This right here is um, a new glaze pack. You need to be watching for a video from Brenda on the Product Parade channel. She's going to be showing you how to showing you how to use these. So um, there's our Upo paper. Here's our little shimmers I just showed you guys right there. Oh, the Midas Touch pins are back. Little shimmers I just showed you guys right there. Oh, the Midas Touch pins are back. Didn't these come back? Uh, I think so. These are the gold pins. Midas I've Touch been is back. To um aqua we have more of these glitter markers online they're just not up here there's um coloring book there's uh the word in color we just showed you those so we'll move from coloring to stamp wall okay all this is stamps <laughs> look at all these stamps oh wait i missed you know what i just realized i'm missing i didn't even come up i never come on this side here's our four by four and edith sets that's what this is this is um like, these are sets we made for Edith's kits. This is one. This is one. That is not. This is the May Mayism stamp set. If y'all haven't seen this one, this is so cute. This was a request by you guys that we put a lot of the... Let me see that one because it's easier to... Well, I can do it right there. This is one you guys requested that has a lot of our sayings. <laughs> Stop that from wiggling. Somebody's going to be seasick. Um, it's got all of our little sayings. Hey, guys, just eyeball it. Super cute. Uh, use what you got. We don't do perfect. Um, not going to stress about it. You do you. So that's the May Mayism set right there. This one, my favorite. Do you see this card? This card has your name all over it, and it says your name. I love this because I'm a sassy girl, and I like these funny, sarcastic ones. This one right here is from an Edith set. It's called Hello Lovely. This wreath, all these sentiments fit inside this pretty little wreath. This bow has tails that you can put in different places where you want them. And then this little guy is a little watering can. It's really pretty. Then we got some long fawn trimmings. Um, there's some new colors we're going to be bringing in, too. I forgot to mention that to you yesterday, but there are a bunch of new colors we wanted that. Okay. Here's the misty stuff. 
Misty um, stickers, the cut -a line which is amazing. If you don't have the cut -a line you want it, I'm telling you. There's the bar magnets. This guy fell from somewhere. Don't know where. Um, here's the Misty's themselves, and there are the corners. And there may be a couple of Misty things that we're out of that we just reordered, so they should be coming back real quick. We should do one day, not now. <laughs> we should do a flip through of every stamp set. That would take a long time. But we've never done that, you know? And if you're new to my channel, you may not realize how many stamp sets I have in my collection. There's a few. It's a lot. Let me just do this right here. So here's this set. What we do in the store is we do a stamp set and a sample. Some of them don't have their samples beside them. And that's just because either I haven't got them finished or we haven't, or we've used it somewhere else in the store for a minute. But these are all our stamp sets, all of these guys. And I bet some of you guys remember them from way back. And some of you guys remember the new ones. Everyone has a story. We've talked about this before. Like, I could tell you a story about every single one. Every single stamp set. Isn't that funny? That I have a story behind every one? Well, that's because every one comes from your heart. Yeah, we work really hard on them. So here we go. Here we go. Well, Mandy pulls her hair out trying to make it like you want it. Mandy gets tired of me and my changes. She has a new way she does things. Instead of bringing me paper, she used to print it and bring it to me. Now she just brings her phone with a picture, <laughs> which is brilliant to me. Look at all these. Do you keep every set in stock? Every set I've ever made except for one is being kept. Nope, except for two. Nope, except for one because there it is right there. There, shake it. Except but for that's, one. That's not available in the store. There's none in the store. This one right here, you cannot get in the store. If you won't shake it, which I think is adorable, by the way, it's for shaker cards, but not really. You don't have to use it for shaker cards. See, but if you like this one. Up. You tell them it's for shaker cards, and nobody wants to make a shaker card. Everybody's scared of shaker cards. It's a great summer card because it it's is. full of shakes and cakes. and I mean, it's an awesome set. It's really cute. Do it with a um, hide the light glare. There we go. This one right here, you won't find online. You'll have to call in to get it. I only have two. There might be one on the back, but there won't be much. And Josh is like, I want to order them. I do not include the story for each one we sell them. It would be, I don't even know how to do that. I couldn't I couldn't possibly go back and write it for everyone. That would be really hard to do. Hey, man. And then here's more. Here's more. Here's more over here, too. And that's not all of them. We got more. Hold on. <laughs> I'd like to buy your prayer note pads, but couldn't find them online. Can you check that, Amber? Check what? Those little notepads, the um, the ones that you can put in cards. Will you show her, Vince, what I'm talking about? Thank you, sir. The coloring cards? Yeah. Not the coloring cards. The little note. The, yeah, the ones to pass. All right, let's look right here. So, right here we have our gel Pens. I don't think the gel pen sets are in stock anymore. I do not think so. Then, I think I've missed some questions. Amanda, if I've missed some questions, tell me. Uh, oh, um, Shannon's going to put the link in for the cards for you guys real quick. All right, these things are some Brutus Monroe embossing powders. Here's some reinker for his embossing pad. These are some Nuvo embossing powders. These are some of my favorite inks in the world, the VersaClairs. They're my favorites. These are the new um, vintage drops. And look, this is what, if you come into the store, we have a sample squirted out of every one of these little drops. I'll show you all of them in a second. We also have some silhouette paper. This is the printable version, the, print the printable vinyl that you can heat, uh, print and then heat on. This is chalkboard paper. Here we have some Nuvo hybrid inks, but my favorite thing right here is this whole rack. Look at this rack. Look at those colors. And look, I still have a bunch of these in the back because I was using them in a video yesterday. There's the link for those cards you were looking for. May May, it says May May shared it. She signed in under me. And then here are some of my favorites here as well. Um, stays on, there's some Versafines. Um, this little box is perfect for storing your distress and Versafines. There's some embossing powder, some brushes right here my favorite um journaling pens to have and then my favorite heat embossing tool and then our favorite rocking chairs <laughs> if my mother was here she'd be in the rocking chair and then our next scene she'd be in see that's how she would do it all right and here's some more stamps i told you we weren't done more stamps here's christmas this is previous year's christmas not this year's this year's release in july actually we're going to re be releasing 
three or four sets in July this year, plus some more for the rest of the year. Here's more Christmas, birthday. These are our bigger sets, our four by eight sets. I love the bigger sets. Love them. Look at all these samples. I'm going to go down kind of slow. All the samples down here that we have. Here's more stamp sets. I need to make a list of all the ones I need samples for because I bet I have samples. I just don't have them up here. Aren't these pretty? I love the stamp sets. All right, so now we're going to go to Wilhelmina. This is Wilhelmina. This is the back side of Wilhelmina. These windows, which I need to paint the back of them white, have ATCs on them that were sent to us. I'm going to go around the front and let y'all see that. Let's look at paper first. So this is Ford with Faith. I think this is out in the back store. Is it? What? Ford with Faith. No. Online it's not out? Okay, so this is Ford with Faith. It's incredible. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. It comes in a 12 by 12. It comes with ephemera and tag, or it has ephemera and tags. Here's the deal. If you look online and can't see it, call in. You can order it that way, okay? This is the Botanical Garden 6 by 6 Looks like we're out of the 12 by 12 up here. Here's a camping. Somebody asked for camping yesterday. Oh, asked if we were getting another one. They, yeah, yeah. So there's a camping set. This one is the coffee set, which is so cute. Then let's go to our tool wall. I bet some of my tools aren't up here. Maybe. We'll see. Here's the tool wall. If you come in and you're looking for one of Maymay's favorite tools, they're pretty much here. Pretty much here. And that down there is the scratch-off paper, the silhouette um, gold and silver scratch-off paper. You guys want to pick this up. Let me tell you why. At Christmas, you're going to see my video of the scratch-off advent card, and you're going to want to send that to your grandchildren or somebody because it's the coolest thing ever, and you're going to be wanting to pick this up. And it's all going to get gone at Christmas when you want it. You need to get it now while we got it. <laughs> Y'all know that's what happens when the video, you know, when people start seeing my videos and sharing them, as soon as they do at the holidays, everybody's going to want that. So grab it now. We've got gold and silver. And is this one white? Yes. And no, that's, it's white, but it go it's clear, if that makes sense. It's white. When you scratch it off, it's just clear anyway. So grab those now. You're going to want those later. I promise you. Here are my favorite tweezers. Here's the spoons already there in our spatulas. Um, glitter it. You need to get this now. Y'all are, you guys are not in Christmas mode. I promise you're not. But I've been making Christmas stamp sets for a month and a half too. So I've been thinking Christmas and, and I'm also planning out Christmas in July. So all my Christmas in July projects are all in my head and I know what I'm going to be using. So you're going to want to pick up your glitter it. Okay. Everybody needs a jewel picker just because those are awesome. And then you're going to want to pick up your magnets. You need to trust me. I got a project coming up with magnets. You guys are going to want um, sticky tape, I think, sold out yesterday after we explained to y'all it was going away. So there's a couple rolls up here if you want to call and pick them up. Your foam tape, you want to get it. You always need your foam tape. Thank you so much. Somebody said our store is awesome. Thank you. Um, glitter glue, obviously pick up your glitter glue, your tips and all that good stuff. Let me turn around and show y'all something. I'm going to black the camera just so you don't get dizzy. So hold on just a second. This is me blacking it out. There we go. Because I want to turn... There. Now you're not dizzy. See? Nobody had to fuss at me. Let's look at these. Stopper toppers and doodads. If you have crafty friends that you're going to give art glitter glue for Christmas, you need to get them a stopper topper. Um, these are so cute. And Amber, would you bring your bottle over and let me show them what it does? Are you on the phone? <laughs> She's going to do, she's going to multitask. Are you talking to a customer? That's a customer right now talking to Amber. It's one of y'all. Is it one of y'all that are watching? Okay, look. Stopper topper. Oh, I shouldn't spin it. I know better. This is a stopper topper. It's a pin that goes inside here, and it so you don't have so you don't lose your pin on your work surface. It's awesome. I love them. They are like fine jewelry. They're not for someone who's a bull in a china shop, okay? But they're really cute. Really cute. Check it out. Check it out. What is that one? That one. This one is a cross. This is a star. These are scissors. Star. Heart, cross, envelope, envelope. The envelopes are so cute. There's another cross, another pair of scissors up top. Then when we get down here, we have star, cross, heart, angels, love angels. They're so cute. And then we have doodads. The doodads are for those of you who just want something simple that just goes in the top that you won't lose, that doesn't have all the dangly parts. So there's that. Let's look right here. This rocking chair was a gift from a subscriber, and that is Boom Chicka Boom sitting in that rocking chair. Boom Chicka is one of our mascots. We have a lot of them. <laughs> I 
Boom Chicken went on our cruise last time, so he was pretty spoiled. And then, let's look up here. Paper, my favorite look. Spring Market, 12 by 12 and 6 by 6. It, um, Let's Party is a great paper pack. If you guys make a lot of birthday cards, this is perfect. <coughs> Flower Market, right there. Um, 12 and 6 by 6. Just Married, I love this pack because it's navy. Can you tell that it's navy? It's not black. Oh, you can right here. Look, it's navy, not black, and I love that pack. Um, we don't get a lot of navy, and it's also got the gold foil pieces in it. Here's We Bought a Zoo. I Heart Crafting. That's a staple. We all need that one because we make fr things for our crafty friends. Then up here, we've got Mermaid Tails, Roxy, Animal Safari. There is a chance some of these papers aren't online because we have smaller amounts of them up front that aren't in the back inventory. So you might have to call in to place an order for some of these things. Letitia, our store is in Verbena, Alabama. We're in a little bitty town in the middle of nowhere. These are our Joy Claire sets. I love them. You guys really love this one, the Christmas penguins. Um, you guys really love <laughs> the penguins. <laughs> and let's see. That's funny. I saw Boom Chick as I was boarding the ship, and it made me turn and meet. That's awesome. So you saw the chick before you saw us. That's cool. And then these stamps. Look, I don't know why y'all don't have all four of these sets. If you don't have these in your collection, you should. Let me tell you why. Number one, they are huge stamp sets. Number two, they are $9.99. And number three, they make perfect backgrounds for everything. And that wood grain and brick, you need to own it. Like, that's just one of those things. If I had a need to own, that's the one. For nine bucks? Here's a little bit of Newton's Nook, and I know we do have some of this online, too. These, you need to get them while we got them. That'd be the best thing I can tell you, this whole line. Get them while we got them. And then, these guys, that, oh, we have a little bit of that American. One pack, we don't have any in the back. Oh, and I need that, too. We're out of that, and I need that. Do we have any of that in the back? Because I need that. I got a project I want to do with it, <laughs> And then pirate tails. Oh, and this I used yesterday on the um, on the graduation page. There's basketball, basketball. So we do. So can y'all make sure I have some because I need it for a project. I need the twelve by twelve. Yeah. And then uh, this summer, so good with the new ice cream truck and ice cream stamp sets. This is perfect. Let me tell you about this real quick. You're going to want to know. Don't get dizzy. I'm going up. I have a project for Christmas, a gift for people that I'm using this project for or using this paper for. It's a recipe um, gift. A recipe. I'm not going to say. It's a recipe gift. That's when you'll want to pick up. Okay. Let's go around. Here's our outside. You want to see outside? There's outside. It's green because it's Alabama. More stamps. These stamps, the well, these are the dies that we do have. Did you find some of it? Uh, Am I just like going, hey, you need to restock this? You're just getting it done while I'm saying it. These are <laughs> these are dies that I do have, the coordinating dies. I saw somebody ask if we were going to be making more. I am on a pause with them right now. Um, there's just some things going on that have caused me to pause. So we are pausing on those right now. Um, not anything in the store or anything like that. It's just something we're going to wait and see. Going to kind of wait out and see how that goes. These are some more stamps. We have more of them right there. And then here's our chipboard. Um, the black, this is all the chipboard I use. I use this one by Graphics. I use this black one. This is the thinner weight black. And then I also have my really thick stuff that I love. Oh, that's vellum. That's not chipboard. But there's the 6x6 six six and the really thick stuff. And this comes in different colors online. So check that out there. Gareth, that's how the yard sale went. It went pretty good. We got rid of a lot of stuff that, from my house, but I still had a lot left. These guys are so cute. And if you decorate a little girl's room, a granddaughter, a niece, if you're doing any of that, these flowers are so easy to put together and so beautiful. You need to grab them. No cutting, no nothing. They're just petals. There's a video on my channel showing you how to use them. Super easy. Let's look at Wilhelmina from the front. Wilhelmina is covered in ATCs. Let me get it really close. You guys have already seen these ATCs if you saw our video. And I'm, this is not all of them, is it? We couldn't get them all up here at one time. We've got to do something else for more ATCs. But here are a good selection of ATCs that were sent to me. And then these windows hold. Each window pane has two or three on both sides of ATC. So when you come in, you can see those. We probably could just lay some on this glass. 
for people just to see. Article to glue. Let's see. Oh, samples. These are just things I've made on video that we bring up here for you guys to look at. Sometimes it's decorated better. We've kind of pe we've peeled some of this stuff out lately. Travel. This is what I just made my mini album with, right here. So I just um, I just made that purse mini album right um, that you guys saw that we're actually giving away. And then this is the heirloom pack. This we call the Brenda pack. This is the one she uses for everything. And if you want button, okay, sorry, y'all. All right, so that was me. I hit a button on my phone. So this pack is the one you saw Brenda's granddaughter make um, that, that um, Father's Day card with. Super cute. Here, we have a few things. Okay, so here's a little squeaky clean. If there's not any in the back, there's a little bit up front you can call in. We have a couple of these left. We won't be carrying this one anymore. We're only going to be carrying the bigger one, but we have a couple of those left if you want to grab those. We have four latch hooks left. This is what we did on the cruise, which was super fun, so there's a few of those. Um, this is a baseball album Brenda did. That's on the channel. She did that on Product Parade. Here are some of our hooks and things like that. Brad's little labels, things like that. And then up here is Brutus Monroe. So we've got tags and glitter and gloss stock, clickable letters. Here's some of his paper. Um, loving this lately. Wait till y'all see today's um, stamp club reveal. I used it and colored with it. I love that paper. All of this is really good paper, actually. This is pretty much what I use now. And then there's a little bit, of, there's some cargo sleeves. We have those online too. And there is some glue pads and a media paste these guys right here if you're looking for these which one is this one i'm trying to read from my camera this is letters curvy upper letters cur i mean numbers and then lowers if you want these guys call in for these but i'm gonna try to get some more in we do have the numbers in stock i just don't have the letters look at our distressing uh oh who's this kid is this the employee that's here that no one knows about yet T-Man, I'm talking about you live on YouTube. T-Man, I'm talking about you live on YouTube. <laughs> we announced yesterday that you're working with us now. Do you guys remember T-Man? It's been a long time since you've seen him. It has been a long time, hasn't it? Let me get up close so they can see those pretty blues. We like those pretty blue eyes. Uh, Mama Munson said, he don't work. <laughs> he gave it, how many tours have you given now since you've been here? So we do tours when you come in. She said, LOL. Um, when you come in and you want to take a tour, Thomas and Josh give our tours. Do you like giving the tour? Eh. Make you nervous? Because eh. they ask questions. No, I'm not. This doesn't make me nervous. What's the hardest question somebody's asked you yet? Well, I mean, they're not hard. It's just I don't know all the answers. Well, um, what's one they asked you didn't the know an answer to? The only one that they've asked I didn't know the answer yet is um, the lady from Texas said that, or asked how long we've been in this building. And I didn't know the exact answer, but I knew roughly the answer. What's the roughly answer? Three years, roughly. March will, next March will be three years, so just over two. two and a half. I, I said it was somewhere between two and three. Yeah, just over two. Where were we before? Y'all want to ask him a question and see if he knows it? Let's just hold on a second. Right. <laughs> yes, Somebody dig deep into the vault and ask a, a hard question. Let me get my thinking cap on. Kelly Henry was on a conference call, and she's late. No one wants to be on a conference call on a Friday morning. All right, here we go. Oh, Tammy K09 says you're very handsome. Oh, thanks. There's a video explain. Oh, I don't know what that. <laughs> the Elvis. No, you have to do the one eyebrow. That's what gives girls. You're such a liar. Do you know what they don't know? The thing about you. What thing? The thing that you ask everybody. The thing you ask everybody. He'll be right back. He has show. How there's ribbon rolls. What about that? You don't want to do what you're thinking you want to do. You don't want to do that. <laughs> okay. Thomas has a new skill. He's going to show y'all if he can find anything. How about these ribbons? Huh? All right. So Thomas will be back when he's back. Hey, if y'all want some pretty graphic 45 paper, I could only get like four of these in. So we have three left. I think we had six before we did this. If you want these, you got to call in. They're not on the back store. This is the Princess Collection. It's absolutely gorgeous. How old is Thomas? Old enough to not to to know better. Is that the word? No. How old is he? 18? Eighteen. I can't ever remember how old our kids are. He's eighteen till September. There's Vinny Boy. Do you have a trick they don't know about that you can do? 
What is that? So small, Trevor. Oh, only one left? Okay. Here is um, distressing. <laughs> He's having to look real hard for <laughs> If we were home, he would have something. Here's our distress ink. He looks like Mei Mei. I'll agree with that. He does. Thomas is the only one that looks like me. Thomas looks like his daddy, who is my brother, who looks just like me, who therefore Thomas looks just like me. I think he does too. Um, Long hair and makeup is my name. Yeah, if I put makeup on Thomas, it would just be me. <laughs> Did you find something? All right, are y'all ready? Did you already test it? Did you yeah, test it? Okay. Something, else, and I was like, oh, I can't something you don't know Thomas can do. You can juggle. <laughs> Who did know he could do that? Some of you guys should know if you follow me on Instagram. Yeah, on Instagram. So we'll trivia question them. Where did Thomas learn how to juggle? If you follow me on Instagram, you will know. It was a, it was a place we were at on a vacation. Do it again. <laughs> Boom. He's gotten pretty decent too. Show him what you had to do when you were learning. <laughs> this is my favorite. <laughs> Wait, let me get back and show that. Yeah, this is what he used to have to do because he had to bounce to keep the rhythm. <laughs> Too funny. By the way, what you what you find to juggle? Uh, Nuvo crystal drops. Is what I found to juggle. <laughs> they juggle well, don't they? They do juggle well. All right. Some people said Texas. Has anybody? Let me look back. In Georgia, it was a cabin trip. That's right. It was in Georgia. It was in. Oh, cool shoes, Miss Miss Jones says. What are those? Are those new? No. I like them. I just haven't worn them very often. <laughs> Thomas is our shoe guy, him and Josh. All right. Um, where did I leave off? Here. Brutus Monroe. Brutus Monroe. Send a paper hug. Is that where we're at? So if you come in our store. Oh, is it, oh, it's on the end. I'll come back to it. If you come in our store, we ask that you help us send a paper hug. So here we have cards that you can dig through and pick one you want to send like this. And then see this little guy right here? It says, number one, choose the card you'd like to mail. Number two, write a message in the card. Number three, put the card in an envelope. Number four, place a stamp on it. And number five, put it in our trusty, rusty mailbox. And you can see we have some here that are ready to be mailed out. And then we have some of our like card essentials here. Like we have envelopes. This is the address elope. Love this guy right here. It helps you to address envelopes super straight and even. This one helps you address envelopes curvy. We have these online, by the way. They are super cool. You need to check those out. This one sells out super fast, so get it. Miss Joan is a shoe fanatic and she loves, um, she loves wearing USA duds. Oh, you have your flag socks on. Oh, they're tech. They're like Texans. No, the Rockets. The Rockets. GP3s. Oh, so they're they're explain it from the basketball team. Yeah, they're Chris Paul. From he's the starting point guard at the Houston Rockets. Okay, so those are Chris Paul shoes from Texas, from the Houston Rockets. Okay, we also have an ink dragging station. Look, you can see this is actually our uh, background paper, but you can see where people have been ink dragging and trying it out. So we have that for folks here. When you come to visit, and then we have some diamond dots. We have storage. These guys right here, my very fave. Um, all of our storage stuff is over here. And then, uh, Mom Munton sending you air hugs, by the way. And then here is our paper petting station. And I just thought today we need to change this paper and start petting a new pack. But do what? Yeah, this one's been petted. So this is where you can come over and look and play with this paper. I just love it. And then you can purchase it here. And you guys need to buy this one because I think we're about ready to have this one not in the store anymore. So you probably need to get this one out of here if you want it. It's really cute. It's called Down on the Farm. And look, it says, enjoy petting and smelling and loving on our featured paper pack. It's time for a new one. You know which one we should do next? Is the Ford with Faith because it's gorgeous. Blocks. Acrylic blocks. Bags, envelopes, um, the seal bags, chenille stems. I have plenty of those around here. We have some brother scan and cut mats. We have the design and cut mats here. We have the um, scanning mat, if you've ever seen the scanning mat. And then we also have the scan and cut mat. Okay, check this out. This is our across the miles wall. Some of these cards have been removed because we're using them in different places in the store now. So that's why there's spots. We have more to hang up. But this is our across the miles wall. You guys have sent cards to us for all this time. And the best part is, let me show you back up without dizzying y'all. 
You see these streamers up here with cards on them? <laughs> they go all the way around the room and we've almost filled up all the way around the room. We still have a few spots, but you can see, isn't that cool? Cards you guys have sent in. We have a whole string right here we need to fill up. But we still get cards all the time, so we're hanging them. We just need to get them all filled up. You didn't show them a creepy tile, did you? This gross one, no. I hate that tile. Ugh. This is our map of people who have visited us. Check this out. We have lots of pins in the map, so when you come visit our store, you have to pin the map. This is part of the tour, by the way. When you take the tour, it ends at pinning the map. So cute. Isn't this cool? We send lots of cards to the troops, Miss Eva. We do all kinds of things. We have people that we work with. We have a card ministry, and in our card ministry, people send us cards they've made that they don't have people to send them to, and we have people that we work with that we send those cards to that go to lots of different organizations. So we send cards all over the place. Okay, here is our dies. Not all of them. These are the Doris stencil die. What? Stencil die and... It's a three, three words, cut, emboss, and stencil. Cut, emboss, and stencil, there we go. Okay, so let me back up. So here's some dies here on the wall. We have a lot of these in store. I was back there looking at those. Was somebody calling me? I don't think so. I thought I heard my name. This is some stuff that you'll see more prominent for Christmas. These are a lot of things we use at Christmas, like our armor etch and then our um, coasters and stuff. I like to use those for presents. I think they're really cool. And then, Embossing folders. This is Vinny's fave stuff. He loves embossing folders. Which is your favorite on that wall? Oh, uh, the deer in the woods. Where's it at? This one right here. This one is his favorite. I'll show you the picture of it. That's his favorite, of course, right? Um, there's so many cool ones up here. So many cool. We're bringing in some uh, special ones for Christmas, too. You want to know my favorite? Da, 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 da. This is Buffalo Plaid. Did that video go up yet? <laughs> I don't know. I have a video featuring this guy, so you're going to want to pick this one up too. Um, I had to pre-film a lot of videos because Jordan went on vacation this week. And I, I go out of town next week, so I had to pre-film a lot of videos. So I don't know when all the videos are going up, but there's a lot of them coming at you. These are the Gina Marie dies. These are super cool dies and so affordable. Like, for example, look at this set right here. $10? Are you kidding me? So affordable. You need to get these. If you are looking to build up a, a die collection, this is the way to do it. You cannot beat her prices. Um, let's turn around. There's the Venmeister again. How do you get over there so fast? This is some fall paper from last year. I love this paper, by the way. And this is one of the albums we made last year. This is a paper, maybe two years ago. This is a paper bag mini album that I love. This one we made last year. This was from our Helen trip. By the way, do I have a picture of Thomas in here juggling? Let's look. Because <laughs> this is where he learned to juggle. I bet I didn't put one in here. Let's see. All right, so this is the beginning of our trip, and <laughs> I love this trip. I want to go back. Babe, when you look through the pictures, you really want to go back. Look at this. It's so fun. We had the best time. I was in their face with the camera the whole time. Isn't that hilarious? And then, is this one? Oh, here we go. The double-sided. Look at this. So much fun. There is a tutorial on my channel that will show you how to make this album start to finish, including putting all the pictures in. I love it. Do y'all know why I took a picture of this leaf? Those are fake. I thought they were real, and I was like, look at the gorgeous leaves up here, but they were fake. <laughs> look at this. I do not see him juggling in here. I guess I didn't put a picture of that. I should have. There's that little cabin. There's me on an ATV ride, which was super fun. And then, still no juggling pictures. I can't believe it. There he is hanging off a, a bridge. Anyway, that is the fall album. And this one is, um, there's a full tutorial on this guy. You guys can see that. And it uses these, paper, um, these envelopes right here. And you get a bunch of these. You can make a whole bunch of those albums with those envelopes. It also uses this size. This is just a different color. And more bags. Whew, I'm going to have to let Vince do the back room. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bible covers. We should have done been through. You're taking two days. I told you I was going to show every single thing. Well, apparently. Um, show the Bible covers. Oh, Sue's going to um, Helen this weekend. 
have this one that has your favorite verse on it, or at least part of it. This one's have always been my favorite. I love that you said at least part of it, because what is my favorite? That's right. You've got to have all of it in there. Jeremiah 29, 11, 3, 13. There we go. And then that one. I love that one, too. They're so pretty. These are not online. Wait, are these online? I'm sorry. I can't hear you. <laughs> she's like, I'm sorry. I can't hear you. I mean, you and this one. Shannon. Okay, she's checking. You didn't show these pretty pink ones. You showed the guy ones. Well, I mean, that's the one Look that at this one. Me. It says, his mercies are new every morning in this beautiful. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. So there's a pink one. And look at this purple. We may have more in the back. I'll show y'all. Oh, it's so pretty. And look at this one that also has Jeremiah 29, 11 on it. What's behind that one? I think it's the same. Nope. Oh, it's pretty with the cross. Cool. I thought all three of those was the same, so. And then these are some of my favorites. Look at this right here. So this reminds me of a Michael Kors bag that I own, and that's why I wanted it. Isn't that beautiful? And it's a Bible cover. Um, yeah, it is. That's what I'm saying. It reminds me of it. See, it opens right here for your Bible. And then there's a it's purple not really one. A purse. No, it just, but see, it's cool at church because you can just put your Bible on your arm. It's really cool for that. This one, though, you need to open this one and show this because this one is not as cool until you open it. Will you open that one? Mm -hmm. And then, look, these are kind of masculine. Look how pretty they are. This is the same as what he's fixing to show you, but it's in brown. We have it in brown and black. Okay, look, this one comes with this pen, which is a highlighter. And then this is your pew pad. Save this. You'll want to sit on that in the pew if you got rough pews. Like, we no, we have chairs. <laughs> what am I whining about? Yeah. This is my favorite part. Hold on one second. Okay, so look, there's two zippers. The front zipper is for your Bible. Ooh, you're wiggling. Okay, hold on. Front zipper is for your Bible. The back zipper is your notepad. And look at this. This is probably my favorite one. This pocket, this, I mean, as far as functionality, you have this one. Mm -hmm. I love this one. And then we also have this guy. Very pretty and masculine. Pull that other one out. I'm not sure which one that one is. Oh, yeah. Turn that one around sideways so they can read it. This one's really, really pretty. Look at this. I will strengthen you. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And then, oh, look at that on the back of it. Gorgeous. All right, right here is one that you guys are going to love. I think this is our last one. It may not be. Look how stunning this one is. So pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? So this one is available. Um, I'm not sure if they are all in store. If they're not, you can call us. The phone number, I think they've been listing it. Here's some clearance. This is 40% off clearance. We have a cool thing coming up. You're going to tell them about the cool thing? I am going to tell them. Go for it. I'm working on a, on a Facebook sale where you can go on our Facebook group and we're going to have like a boutique sale. We're trying to get the logistics worked out. Me and Shannon and Amber were talking about it this morning. So we're going to be doing a clearance sale on our Facebook group. May May made it and so did I. I say that. We may do it on our regular Facebook page. I mean, I don't, can we do it on YouTube? I don't know. Why could we not? It's the same thing, right? We may do it on YouTube. We've just, we're trying to figure out all the details. So thank you, Joanne. Joanna, I'm sorry. Thank you, Joanna. Here's our punches. Some of my faves. Some of my faves. What's on the end that we missed? Oh, blending. How did this get back here? Here's ink blending back here. Well, it's going to have to come out. It'll have to come over here with the pretty stuff. All right, full quill. <clears throat> I'm going to let you know <laughs> that for Christmas, I'm going to be doing projects with this full quill. And you guys are going to want it. Okay? These are the little cartridges, and these are the little um, full quills. You guys are going to want this, all right? Um, I cannot tell you exactly what the project is because I'm still in the process of making it, and i got to make sure it works. But I will be using these because I think they're going to make great Christmas projects. Gifts, tags, cards, and I'm going to make it super easy for you. You'll just need to make sure you have your quill to make it work. T-shirts. We're almost done. Up here. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, where's the spoon? We're almost where I needed it for. Here's three. The store is May May Made It, and online it's MayMayMadeIt.com. Check this out. Three different t-shirts. Vinny, do you want to show these? Look at this. MayMayMadeIt.com. Check this out. Three different t-shirts. No, we actually have four. What's the one that's not up there? This one. Will you get that one so we can show it? So we've got No Crying and Crafting. Maker's going to make Foamy Up Scotty, 
And then this guy. This is, it's craft o'clock somewhere. We have, we have more t-shirts that will be coming soon. More stuff, because I know a lot of you guys already have these. Um, here's what we need the spoon for. The spoon is for these guys, for the glitters. This one has um, plastic on it. We take that off of there. It's not pretty. Um, these are what the spoon is for, to help you get the glitters out of these little glass jars, which are so pretty, and to use them in your projects. Look how cool. So cool. Love it. All right. Now you ready for this part? Your territory. Okay. Let me do a back shot of where we just were. Okay. So here's where we were. This is the store. This is the front. And now we're going to go to the back. Should I show the time clock? This is where it gets serious. Watch this. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and then watch yeah. this. Dun, dun, dun. Always open. Time clock. <laughs> And then, is that just an empty box? The magic of the craft keeper. Oh, I thought it was just an empty box. Nope, that's where all the craft keepers are. Here's your craft keeper. Now listen, what we're showing you back here, you'll probably see the boys actually pulling orders. So, oh, we do have a few more. Look. Yes. That black bag, we have it in blue. And that maroon, that maroon bag, we have it in purple. Okay. More, those are those little cards we talked about. There's the Bibles. Told you we didn't have a whole lot and a couple of coloring books. All right. Sorry. So if you come this way, you can see my favorite pack of paper that I cannot imagine why it's still on the shelf. Well, because it says Easter, but it's know, really but it's usable really, for all look times. Look all the different cool things on there. There's stained glass windows. Uh, there's the doves. There's crosses. There's the fish. Look at these beautiful flowers. And this pack is only $9.99. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. It's $9.99. Even though it says Easter on it, look at those beautiful cards that come with it. I mean, this is a great set. Well, I mean, some of the cards say No, Easter, I'm just pointing. I mean, you know, we can celebrate the fact that he's risen every day. Anytime, that's right. And then you have the animal safari paper, which is really cool. It's got a lot of different kind of animals and stuff on it. Got great stickers that go Ooh, with Oh, glare. It. Bad glare. There it is. Okay. It's available in the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6 for that. We still have uh, one or so of the spring market 12 by 12 packs. And the one six or so. Sixes. Or one of those, two of those. And Amanda's favorite paper, the Mermaids. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. It's got the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6 of that. Six That's my favorite for that. summer. Then you have uh, the best summer ever. We got a good stack of those in the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6. And we also have some ephemera for that, the uh, decorated brass. You want to turn it around? Sure. Okay, Let's Vanna. Those, how cool. Up here we have the pirate tails, which kind of go along with the mermaids. But that's really cool. Got a good bit of that still in stock. Shake it's gone? You guys just bought Shake It. That's awesome. And then down there you have the travel paper. You have a few of those. If you're vacationing, that's great for your scrapbooks and stuff for vacationing. And for cards too, you know, if you want to share some of that. Down there's some Brutus Monroe paper that we've got in. We have another order in for that, but hopefully it'll be coming in soon. Like we said yesterday, we placed that order the first of the month, and we're I just filmed your feet. Soon. I just filmed I your feet. That. Do I need to film mine to be no, fair? No, I don't care. I can't this see is them. The there they are. with fake paper that we talked about earlier. We got a good bit of that left in stock. We even have a few packs of coffee. I would have never believed that it would still be on the shelf. But we still have some uh, six by six, some 12 by 12s, and a few of the uh, frames and tags left for that. Uh, then this is the paper you used in your video yesterday. We have quite a few packs of that in stock. And then here on this shelf, we have some sports paper. Uh, this is the basketball paper that you used to make Thomas's card a while back. We have it in the 12 by 12. And Brenda 12 made an album with it. Six. Brenda made an album with it on the Product Parade channel. So if you want to watch her album, she did it over there. And then college football is coming up real soon. So we have a great college uh, a football pack. And uh, we have a 12 by 12 and 6 by 6 in it also. Bad glare. Sorry. But it's really cool paper. Mm, it is cute. I got to do something with that too. But football season. It looks like I have one pack of what? Roxy. Lab. Oh, yeah. We have one pack out front too. So a couple packs of that. Christmas paper will be here. The first full week of July, right? Uh, 
Christmas paper, well, it'll be available for the seven, first full week. Be here before then. We, all right, let me say this real quick so people know, because I've been talking about Christmas in July. Christmas in July does not start until after the 4th. We're going to, we're not going to put Christmas over the 4th of July. So the 4th of July, that whole time gets its time. And then after that, we start our Christmas in July stuff. We have a couple packs of the summer splash paper still left. This is so cute. Uh, this is what we use. We use this on our albums on the cruise. This is the one we use, and I love this pack. It's so cute. And this is the last of our sports papers that we have in, besides the basketball, football. This is the baseball pack uh, from Cartabella. We have some of that and the six by six. Down below that, we still have a few of the just married things from Echo Park, which are really, really cool. And here's the flower market from Cartabella, which has been great. Everybody loved that one. We still Me have too. a few of those left. Did you do that for with Faith? We did, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And somehow or another, that's been on the shelf and was not in the store. So that's been corrected. <gasps> I thought we were out of it. That no, Oh, it's, no. It's apparently of any era. Because those that just have a few are not actually on those. If they want them, they probably Okay, so it's... Uh, if you uh, see something splash, here... I don't think it's on. Like if you... Summer Splash isn't. If you see something here that's not online... Give us a call or email us. You can email at info or you can chat us up at, on the chat and we'll get it for you. These are probably Some, we need to explain this. Like, okay, when we have something on the shelf, we will leave two of something as a place marker. So that way, if we oversell one, we still have one left so we know what goes right there on the shelf. But sometimes our software just won't not come out. Not anymore. We have the new software. We're not going to have that issue anymore. Um, now, where are we at? Right, then you got... Uh, a couple of Valentine paper packs that we still have left that could be used any time of the year, of course. The You and Me from uh, Echo Park. Brenda made a, a great pack. Brenda made a Mother's Day album. And even though it's, you know, technically Valentine's, there's very little stuff on there that would make you think. Brenda made Valentine's. a Mother's Day album with this oh, paper cool. pack on our Product Parade channel. So we have that. And then the uh, Wild Love from Photo Play. Bag that's layer. Available. There we go. It's so cute. This one is so cute with our layered cheetah stamp set. It's adorable with that. All right, and up here is the I Love Crafting that you talked about out front. We have that available in the 12 by 12 and the six by six. This Let's Party paper from Echo Park. We have a few packs of that left. That may also not be online, so you may have to call in for that. And this is the Our House that you talked about earlier. You showed that That will front. be a project. We have these here in the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6. And, of course, the America. Oh, there's some America. Why was I thinking we didn't have any? Because I was trying to use it the other day. Yes, we have some. I don't know why I was thinking that. And this hmm. is the incredible heirloom book that uh, Brenda used uh, a couple of times, I think. It is a ginormous pack of paper. It is ginormous. And it is a, I mean, it is full of really, really good stuff. And some of it's very um, antique looking. I guess that's why they call it an heirloom, huh? Yeah. So, but that is a beautiful pack, and we have a good stack of that. It's 180 pages. Yeah, I mean, wow. Then, of course, we have our 6x6. Six six, um, chipboard. Yeah, that's what that stuff's called, chipboard there, and 12x12 12 12 in the black and the white there on the back side behind you. And then we've got some of the uh, Tomic scissors from Tim Holtz. Let me go around. Those are your favorites. Oh, yeah. Because they don't get sticky stuff on them, right? Well, they're Teflon coated. They Teflon do sometimes. Coated. That's sometimes the word they I was can get. For. I don't. I guess it's. Te I don't know. If they're Teflon. They're coated in something. Sometimes they can get sticky. I have to clean them, but they're great. I love them. Three different sizes. Maybe we should show that. In case you've never seen it, I've always assumed people know, but these are the that's long the big ones. One. That's, I think that one's your favorite. Isn't it, it is my that one and this one I use the most because you can make a one cut because it's so long. This I use for foam. I love these for foam. I love the black. Thank you, you Tim. Used those in the video yesterday. <laughs> I'm a red. Red's my favorite color, but thank you, Tim, for black. Yeah. Thank you. So these are the ones if you get a card kind of cut off or you need to cut something down in a long strip, this is perfect for the length of that. And then these guys right here are super cute for um, snips. They're good for like wire or wired edge ribbon. That's what I use them for. I like them for that. And then this rack is our envelopes. Lots and lots of envelopes. A we try to keep envelopes. We need to show this because a lot of our viewers are kind of new. And this is, I have things I call evergreen products. These are some of them. We keep a lot of this because this is stuff you need all the time. But I bet we haven't shown it in a long time. So why don't you start and let's just show each one. All right. Well, we have the A2 size. We have it in the ivory color and in the craft. Uh, and you get a pack of 20 envelopes. 
in that. Okay, so you get that, and then up here is the uh, A7 size, right? Which is a five by seven, which I use for albums a lot, but I also am gonna be making some five by seven cards. You have that in the craft color and in a cream color. I guess that's still ivory. Yeah, ivory. And then, uh, I guess those are the two colors that that's in. Don't I have white? We have white, we might be out of white. You might need to, oh, no, you're out. That's the side cover of it. Okay. And then we have the um, vellum. My Nyoka collection. <laughs> Our vellum. <laughs> she always wants vellum, so we have some vellum <clears throat> in stock. Then this is our silhouette. Wait, come down here because I can get in there. It's all right. It's all right. Um, this is the uh, Distress watercolor cardstock that we have from Tim Holtz, and we have it in two sizes, the big and the little. That's the same stuff, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and then. I don't know what that is. What it's is a little this? kit. Oh, it's really song. cute. It's a kit that went with a um, cardstock pack we had, but it would work with book. any. It's cards and envelopes. They're pre-cut for you, and all you do is decorate them with, like, stickers and um, cutouts, and they're ready to go. Super cute. We don't have many left, so there's a few there. And you have your, uh, is it Yupo? Is Yupo. Right? Yupo. Yupo paper. Cardstock. Then we have your paper bag collection. I love, love paper, paper bags. bags. So we have them in the craft and the white. Um, and then we also have some graphic uh, cards, uh, not card stock, but um, chipboard. Why can I not write the word chipboard? Don't know. And then these are your little beady things. Diamond dots. Diamond dots, that's right. Hold on, go back to this because I stopped oh, you. What? Oh, the silhouette? This is what I was telling y'all. I have a video. Amanda, if you can, will you link that? I have a video on my channel, which is the Scratch Off Advent Card. And these are what I used. And when I when that card video goes around at Christmas time, people love it. And these sell out super fast. So grab them now while we've got them on the shelf. <laughs> and you won't have to fight the rush at Christmas. Okay. There's the white paper. There's the silver, by the way. We've got silver, gold, and white. Now's the time to grab it. Yep. There's the, the natural chipboard. And uh, that's the diamond dots. And then we've got our uh, all kind of stuff in here. You got the pencil sharpeners for your colored pencils. You got the magnetic tape. We've got quite a few of the magnetic disc. You're going to need these. These are the fasteners for, like you use for your purse. You're going right? to need these because I'll be making a project for Christmas in July that uses these. Go ahead and get, get them. You're going to need at least four magnets. So one pack will cover you, but you're going to need them. And we've got quite a few in stock, and we got more on the way. This just so came this in is yesterday. The new thing that came in yesterday, the uh, shimmer sprays. Hey, um, Amanda, when somebody can get me something to spray that shimmer spray on to show them. Okay. Probably something dark. And we have some Chanel stems. If you need Chanel stems, we have a we few. We are your people. We have a few Chanel stems. <laughs> your math skills. I overbought Chanel stems by about 400. <laughs> Or 4,000. 400. It was a few extras. All right. Then we have some reinforcement labels. Those are those doohickeys that you put on your paper so it don't pull out of the Thank you. three ring binders. Hang on one second. Connie asked who's Leave It to May May. Leave It to May May is a channel I had to vlog on, and we never vlogged. We never started. So it's my channel, but I don't do anything on it. All right. And then you have uh, the Nouveau brushes. You love those things. Yep, love them. Those things are I need really to cool. use them for you guys. I don't ever show them on camera. Here's those pins that you talked about that Brenda was going to be using. Yep. They're very, very neat. Bookmarks, you guys. And These are the, the best. that we got in. Y'all guys love those. They'll be Christmas gifts, I'm telling y'all. Bookmarks and the little loopy things. Oh, I bet this is a placeholder. I have a bunch more of that on the way. Too. You have it on order? This is the Tack and Peel. I did a video on this on the, on the Product Parade channel. You need to go make sure you're subscribed to Product Parade so you're seeing how this stuff is used. All right, so uh, then we have some of our Nouveau products. Oh, maybe Another, the front isn't out. Maybe the yeah, back is out. I need to make sure I check that for us. Apparently, I missed that somehow, which is not, you know, shockers. But then we have the uh, souffle pins and the uh, Stardust pins. We used to use those all the times in videos. I still use them, but I need to remember to show them. <laughs> They're really cool. And then we have the Jelly Roll pins. And this is the, uh, if I remember right, it's the three different it's sizes. It's the three nibs. It's a three pack. Uh, Show the nib sizes. With, uh, it's I think it's on the side right there. Zero, five, zero, eight, and 1.0. Okay. So it's uh, three different tips. Of the same white like, pen. I guess that's like extra fine, fine, and bold. Right. Something similar to that. Right. So we have those in stock. Then you have your uh, embossed pens. You love those. I love them. You'll see them at the Christmas. Uh, 
then you have the Nuvo markers, the brush strip pins, the glitter markers, then we have the Midas Touch that's been out of stock forever. We finally were able to get those back in stock. So, uh, and I don't know if I can get them again. So if you want those, be sure to pick those up. Then you have the Nuvo Spatulas. I love those. And that's for the uh, moose. Stencils, the mooses. The, stencil. the mises? The mices? The moose. Mooses? We're not going to go. Mises. Multiple moose? For the multiple mooses? Then we have our uh, spoon. The Nuvo spoon. So you can see those. So. There's a couple of questions. I know y'all are watching. They're running around answering questions. There's a couple of questions on here that I missed if somebody can grab them. I'm trying not to I'm trying not to answer questions as we go because Amanda and they were doing a great job of it. But they, I know Amanda's running around doing something real quick. Now, these are the coolest things ever. I cannot believe they are still on my shelf. But these are the petals from Echo Park. We have them in three different colors and three different sizes. And if you need to make flowers for something, this is what you need. Because you don't have to do awesome. anything. They're pre-done for you. Yeah, Look at you this. Just twist them and put them together. Put them together. I don't understand why. I don't even know why they're here. I really don't. I would be, give me a, every, but see, I guess I do a lot more entertaining or, I, I don't know. I think it'd be great for decorating kids' rooms. Do a whole Valance. Do a whole um, window curtain. Have you seen that done? Melody did that on her channel. All right. You want to talk about the glitter? I did up front. There's some glitter. You want to make sure you get that. Oh, we, I didn't see these up front. These are the three misters. From Ranger, the little Mister bottles for water. Love those to use for different mm -hmm. things. And then ah. we get into the uh, foil quills. Mm -hmm. I talked about that up front. And I promise y'all this: when I show y'all the Christmas projects, these are gonna be gown. These are the book rings. Book rings. Sizes. Let's go around the other side because we're on the back side All of this right. shelf. Go ahead or go around, and I'll meet you there. Is there? Let me show this stuff on this end right here. Okay. Stamp sets. Oh. Watercolor crayons, I mean, <laughs> watercolor pencils, pencils, both of those collections, and also the watercolor set. Brenda uses this a lot in class. Here's some of our stamps. Stamps. There's that ice cream cart stamp. All right, and now I'm going to go around. This is where we then pack we orders. Of, yeah, that's where we pack orders. And this is where we keep all of our joy, not joy, Claire. Um, Versifying Claire Versifying right here. Claire inks you see those there but then these are embossing the, powders uh brutus monroe um embossing inks i'm gonna tell y'all i use these in today's video i want you guys to see this at three o'clock you're gonna see me use these if you're an alcohol marker colorer and you normally use memento you owe it to yourself to try these you'll like them they're really good they come in four colors um they come in pebble flagstone rustic brown and noir black and is this more black up here oh nope it's not um these are great for alcohol coloring. So that's the embossing ink. You got a pigment ink and an embossing ink from British Monroe. Uh, you have the raven and the um, white alabaster. alabaster. So those are awesome. More stamps. I showed you those up front. Memento kits. These are great. You need to think. Of. I didn't show these on the Ink Dragon station. Yeah, I should those, have. Those are the dew drops. Um, the dew drops. Now that pack comes with uh, 16 or mm -hmm. no, 12 12 yeah 12 different colors in each pack they're great uh, and they're 27 dollars you get 12 packs and i have lots of videos on those those things are awesome then there's some more full quill things there's the book rings that we talked about earlier in the different sizes uh, of those that you can use last one of these this has been selling like crazy lately somebody must have seen a video because we had several of these on the shelf but now they only have one of those left here's the versifines whoops let me get to where some are there's yeah, one about sold out of those too <laughs> i need to get those in the bling wall not a whole lot of bling there's some a lot of bling is sold out foil um Twizers. I think they're in two places. Yeah, they are. Okay. That stuff on the floor is refills. All right. Hot glue gun. I love, I am loving this glue gun. When I'm using one, this is one I even took one home the other day. There's the glue gun. This, oops, let me get that in there. This is my replacement for my pokey tool, which I have come to fall in love with because we have multiple tips. I have a pokey tool there on the far right. Then I have these embossing tools that come with it. And for the price, you just can't beat this. You can't, because I think you get three for like nine dollars, ten dollars, and then this is our quick sticks. This is embossing powder tools. Where's the pillow? 
Dinky oh. Dinky Doo was on the other side. Other side. And then there's our twizers or tweezers. These are those, I told y'all about these. These are great. These in um, envelope addressing tools, they're fun. And I need to do this more often because I got 9,000 ideas of um, projects I want to do for the product parade channel now that I'm walking through. <laughs> yeah. And this is the tool wall. So we have the replacement braids for your Cricut trimmer. We also have the Cricut trimmer. We have the uh, speedball brayers in two different sizes. So those are available. We have the We Are Memory Keeper uh, layer guides, the full size and the small ones. Um, we have the T-square rulers, which uh, everybody wants those. Um, These have to be specially packaged too, by the way. This is like a... When the because boys it's pack these, fragile. it's extremely fragile, and the boys, when they pack this, it gets a special packaging. It's like they they have a special way. I was in here the other day, and where did these come from? I love this. Uh, your husband ordered them. I love this guy. That's crazy. I've not seen those. We've been using those old ones. I like these new ones with the tip on. Sorry, I got distracted. Those are nice. Uh, we have our crocodile <laughs> tools. We have the um, corner choppers and the eyelet setters. We have those, and then we have our punches, where you get in the different sizes, the two inch with scallop, the two inch, the inch and a three quarters. Then there's the branch punch that you love so much. The deer antlers and at Christmas. Then you have the deer head. I have a deer head. And then we have the confetti ones. Oh, um, I went down, hold on. Oh. Let me go up. I'll let you say what all of those are, because I don't know what all of them are called. This is the hydrangea punch. Makes a hydrangea, hydrangea flower. Showed that on my channel. This one makes this little flower, which is super cute. Showed that on my channel. Um, these are my staples. The two inch, the two, one and three quarter, the one inch. That whole set, you just need those in your collection. You just need them. Then there's a heart. The heart. Oh, I love the heart. Yes. And then some of our We Are stuff. There's, there's that fan I was talking about. Yeah, that's the one you were hunting, huh? I found it. There's that fan I was looking for yesterday. Our, our We Are stuff. Um, these guys right here, I think, are place markers. I don't think these are online. So, because there's two here, and I didn't see them yesterday. So, if you're looking for these, we do have a couple of these. You'll just have to email us or call in or chat. These are the smaller ones. If you're a card maker, you don't really need those longer ones. These are perfect. These are the ones I pick up more times than not. Yeah, those are the ones you use the most. Yeah, because so. they're the size I do. And then all these punch boards and stuff. It's kind of hard to see, but we have, like, everything you can imagine in punch boards. That's all online. And purse handle. Wow, these are going quick. Gosh. Okay, guys, these are the purse handles. This is what's left. We don't even have them up front because we can't keep them in stock. And these are going quick because we had more on this rack already that are gone. So you need to grab these. These are what I used to make that mini album. And you will see another purse mini album coming for this holiday season. And I have another, I have a couple more things planned. So, purse handles there. Those are the stencils that you use with the... Um, Mises. The moose. <laughs> <laughs> so. There's your purple tape in two sizes. I sound like um, my mom I don't think to, there's anything else back here that you haven't already showed. Probably not. Let's just go around. The purse handles. Uh, oh, you didn't show all these brads. I showed a few, but we didn't get into detail on them. Um, um, oh, the zig. I didn't get into zig. Um, well, this doesn't go there. I don't know how that got there. It does not go there. We need to make sure that they know that doesn't go there. Um, I wouldn't think it went there either. Yeah, look at there. Snow riders and snow markers. Oh, I know why it's there. Never mind. It's not for that, though. Okay, and then our sprays. Love yeah, these. Those are the uh, mica mist. Those are really cool. And then squeaky clean refills. Those that everybody was dying for. It's because I don't use those. them. You know what I saw? Because you're not a glitter person. You know what I saw? The girl I watched soap making videos, she uses them. Think that's Look. that. Listen to me for a second. Listen. She uses them glitter dusters from for soap making. They sell them in the soap making industry. They've probably been around. Mm -hmm. Somebody just found them for us. You My faves. Time? Illustrated Fate Precision Pins. These are my fave journal pins because you get two pin nibs in there. You get the .25 and the .65. The .65 is my favorite. Okay, and I know yesterday I said that we cannot get any more sticky tape. There it is. But we have five, a few five millimeters left, okay? This eight millimeter, I found out late yesterday, I can get some 20 yard. Some small rolls some of small it. Some small rolls of it but she only has a few. So I'm gonna get every one that she'll let me have. And what I don't keep, y'all can have. I gotta have them for classes until I decide what I'm doing. 
And then this is the Brad's. We didn't get to the Brad's. You were asking about it. Uh oh, Amanda's yeah. coming over here. There must be a reason. All different sizes in those things. Brad's. Look here she is. Let's mess with her. Oh, I bet you she's. <laughs> I bet you she's counting those because they're not even in the store. Oh, I'd be so upset about that. I'm gonna be. Upset Look at about these. That too. Look at these. <laughs> they're not in there. This looks like. This looks like a poltergeist did it. <laughs> Do y'all not think this looks like a poltergeist did it? This is hilarious. <laughs> looks like an an, uh, an angel. Maybe, well, an angel would be in our shop anyway. Um, this looks like a ghost came and stacked these up. <laughs> Why is it only me, Vince? Vince, does this not look like a ghost came and stacked this up right here? Like to trip, to trip us going out the door? Okay. Oh, there's the ghost. How about distress inks? How high I could go until it fell out. I mean, before it fell out. Are you going to keep going? Well, you, you can't. Can more. You can't go any higher. Oh, hold on. I'm going to show you. <laughs> hey, Vince. Yes. I oh, I showed y'all these from the front, but these are like um, the um, crystal drops, jewel drops, embossing powders from Nuvo. There's those numbers. I told you about the clickable numbers. There's our masking fluid. Um, I think you've seen most of this stuff up front. The long trimmings. I think that's it. Oh, um, stopper toppers. I'm curious about this right here. This is used with the reinker, and the I have not shown it yet, and that's the problem. And there's a pile of them right there. I hadn't shown it yet. We need to I'll, that I'll show it. I told you I need to come through here and play my um, product parade videos walking through here. Okay, come on. Let me show you all stopper toppers. And all this clearance is almost gone. Look, this is all we got left. We have a few buttons left. This is all on clearance online. So if you look in the bargain bin or the clearance section, you'll find a lot of that stuff. Here is some dies. Here's some blocks here but these are stopper toppers we're gonna have to show these so why don't you hold the camera oh okay paw print see paw print it comes in blue green mint pink aqua royal blue red purple yellow orange paw print and whatever we have available is on the store fancy heart you hold still and i'll go to you no, you, you I'm get trying, blurry when you get closer. I want to get super close right there. It'll it'll portrait. There's your heart. And fancy heart means it's different styles of hearts. It may not be this exact heart, but it'll be a fancy heart. And it comes in green, aqua, pink, royal blue, mint, pearl, red, blue, purple, turquoise, yellow, orange. Whatever we have available is in the store in those list of colors. I love my dog. Yeah, the little heart that says I love my dog. Comes in red, green, royal blue, pearl, aqua, pearl. That's it. What we have available. That's green. Um, it shows this Midas touch. I'll start to. <laughs> this dude. Oh, look at this. This is the weenie dog. I love the weenie dog. See that? And it comes in mint, turquoise, blue, green, pink, whatever we have available online. Um, crosses are out. Here's the key. Keys are, oh, I put my finger over there. <laughs> the Sorry, y'all. Keys come in different. Um, I think you get different keys, but they come in yellow, uh, mint, orange, turquoise, aqua, pink, blue, and what is that color? Green. And then we have envelope. The envelope is one of my favorites. Let me get in there and get one out. There's the envelope. There we go. Comes in pearl, aqua, red, purple, light green, pink, orange, yellow, pale purple. Then, doodads. Let me show you a doodad. One out of here. The doodad is just the topper. See that? And this comes in black, silver, green, blue. What is this, silver? Let me put silver about where it goes. Okay, a stopper topper is what you put in your art glitter glue to keep it from drying out. Fleur de lis. Let me show you the fleur de lis. There it is. Comes in. Purple, mint, turquoise, green, pink, aqua, and blue. But again, when you go on the website, that's how you'll know what colors are available and which ones are available. Some of these are gone. The scissors are gone. I was trying to get those. There are some scissors up front if you just have to have a pair of scissor ones. And I think we've shown them what's up here. Flower. There's the little flower. And this comes in mint, blue, turquoise. Did I get this one up here? I think so, yes. I feel like I'm missing one. I showed the... Paw print? No, did I show the paw print? I don't think I did. You showed one paw print. I did show Okay. Paw print, fancy heart, love my dog, dots and cross, envelope, doodads, Florida Lee, key, teapot. We're out. Nope. Nope. Ooh, we have a pink teapot. Let me see if we have another one. 
Let me feel in here. Oh my gosh, we have one pink teapot. I bet you got to call in for this one because I bet it is not on mine. This one pink one. It got snuck in there. Amen. What was this Fisker's tool? I remember you. Oh, it's the positioner. It's the positioner for if you have like any um, woodblock stamps left or if you have any that you have a hard time getting stamped in the right place. And I have a video on my channel of how to use that one. All um, right. Another fan. And these are the Gina Marie dies. Here's the ribbon when you order from the back. Aha. There's the... Art the dratic, the, 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 the addictive material art known glitter. as art glitter glue. Art glitter glue. This is bubble wrap, and this is what I do. You ready for this? And then the oh. people in the shipping department get mad. They do. They make Speaking of people at the shipping department, they're having lunch. <laughs> Our two shipping department dudes. Okay. There's that. All right. Look at this. These are for... The boys bathroom i ordered these from talk to How what gorgeous. we're gonna have something in our bathroom no no no, no this is for home oh i thought you were actually bathroom. gonna set up the, the fox yeah, the foxhole all right y'all i'm sorry now if we were to go up front and show you the the customer bathroom or the ones that the girls get to use you would go wow it is so pretty Only show that, though. and then you walk into the boys' area. toilet, and all you get is the toilet and a mirror. But when you sit on the toilet, <laughs> you are entertained by the Joe big head. So you get to look at Joe's smiling face while you're on the toilet. That might not have entertained any of you, and it may have disgusted some of you. So I apologize if it did. Now we're back up front. And if you want to see something really, really cool, you see that tray right there by the door? I'm walking toward the tray. I'm walking toward the tray. You know what this tray is? This tray is the scripture stamp club. And it is sitting there ready to go in the mail. So there it is. Boom, boom. We show everything. All right, let's. Okay, we're going here. We're going to go here. All right, it's the shimmer spray. I'm probably going to get it everywhere, but let's just see. Where's your tester box? <laughs> Look at that. Do they see that? Well, they're looking at it. It's on chipboard. This is probably the worst thing to show it on. But this is like, um, like, what's the word? Like glitter brushes, the Nouveau glitter brush. I can't remember what they're called. It's like that, but in a spray. Look at that shimmer. Beautiful. I'm gonna put it down so you can get the shimmer. You may have to move the camera around a little bit. Penny said that we wouldn't notice if we had a pretty bathroom. <laughs> you wouldn't? Look at this. There it is. Oh, so pretty. Michelle Anderson said, I don't care who you are. That's funny. <laughs> they did that. Okay, so the basketball team gets those big heads whenever we go, when we travel, we use those in the stands. And at the end of the year, they give them to the parents and stuff. And that's why we had it. All right, we're back to the beginning. Oh, we didn't show your kitchen. Vinny's kitchen. This is where he films. He filmed yesterday. They're laughing so hard they can't believe that you showed it. Why not? <laughs> Here, let me show them the girls' bathroom, the difference. Oh, yeah. <laughs> show them how, what's the difference in our poor excuse for a toilet. See how fast we're going? That's how fast I usually go to the bathroom because I wait till the last minute. I hope nobody's in here. Let me try open it this way. No. Girls' bathroom. So pretty. I said, look, this is what we see. So pretty. And all I get to look at is Joe's head. <laughs> we get all the pretties. On the all the pretties. <laughs> the boys thought that was funny. And the funny thing is Joe didn't know we did it. And he came here for like a week. He came here for the yard sale a week or so ago. Oh, come on. They're, they're going to see you. They're standing. Um, he came here and he was like, are y'all kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Vinny's always going to show all the good stuff, but the foxhole's the best part. All right, I think that, oh, I didn't show these. Oh, we don't have these in stock. Do we have any wooden pieces in stock? Nope. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we don't have those in stock. And is that it? You showed the stamp club? Scripture club, yes. All right, Scripture Club goes out today. 
Oh, Christina said Honey Bunny misses this place so much. Oh, I'm sure he does. He doesn't miss us. He would be yelling at me what? every time new product came in. He always bust when we bought something new. All right, now I'm reading comments. They think we're the we're cutest couple. We are. No, we're not. So cute. No, we're not. Um, all right, now I'm going to look at comments for just a second. I wish I could put the camera down because my hand hurts. Let me see if I can. No. Hold on. I can't read with these glasses on. Hold on, I'm trying to find a place to put y'all. Well, you're gonna have to turn it where it's facing you. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I, I wanna find a spot first. Oh, here's one. Yeah? Yeah, look. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, I can read it. Okay, I hate this shirt. Oh, I should've looked before I got in camera. I love the shirt. I hate it. it looks like a circus tent. <laughs> It looks like an actual circus tent. Look. I look like... <laughs> you are too well, much. Well, the cruise quilt is in our office. Abby Sue asked about it. We're not going in our office because the leftovers from the yard sale are in our office and we literally can't move in there. It's a bad move. <laughs> you don't want to see it. Um, it'll be going away today, oh, actually. Oh, man, this afternoon. All right. The yard sale stuff is? Yeah. Have y'all got questions before we go? I showed it. Yeah. It does look like a circus tent. It does not. But look, it has these little ties. It's a really cute. Oh, know, thank y'all. It's cute. I bought it for the cruise. You left me. First thing right. I that is our placeholder. You're supposed to be right there. So they couldn't see me no way because of the glare. They could see you. Here, I'll just turn the camera. No, I'm coming. Give me just thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Um, now they can see better. It's also hair washing day. This is a bad idea. I was supposed to be on the other side of the camera today. Look at this hair that needs cutting. You're Hairdressers, so look. Hairdressers. What did I do? I missed that whole hair. And why did it take me six weeks to find it? Look at it. <laughs> too much. Now it's too bothering much. me. There we go. Hide it. It does not. Y'all got questions? Penny said it does not. Can I sell this? It's your place, Mom. Yes. You silly girl. Silly, silly girl. That's cute. They can see you fine. Okay, then do. Unless I do this right here. Yes, ma'am, I do have it for you. The shirt is too much, Genevieve. I agree. <laughs> Hi, I'm Genevieve from Maryville. Say, we drive through Maryville. Tennessee. You say Maryville. It's Maryville. Thank you, Brigetta. Brigetta, Brigetta. I have a friend named Brigitta, so that's why I'm saying it both. Y'all are so cute. Thank y'all. Merville. 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 That's where they live in Merville. Merville, Tennessee. And everybody knows that's what you go through to go to the mountains. That's where we go anyway. If you go the back road. That's the way we go. Okay, there's no questions for us. No questions at all. Store related, anything. How many kids do you have? Actual. No. <laughs> we have four boys. Four boys. And two, two daughter-in-laws. Daughter Stick with And one grandbaby. Now, huh? And one grandbaby. Addie. Little Aww. Addie girl. Who's walking? May May, like Vinny says, you're too much. I am too much. In lots of ways. So we answered how many kids we have. Give us some more questions. Come on. Hard Does questions. Does that say J-Red? I can't read it. No, it's not. It's J-Zad. You make the cutest couple. Mm. Mm. I try. Mm. You're just in Florida, Genevieve. That's nothing. We will see the shop in August at, Crop at Craft Acropolis. Yay! <laughs> so, no fun. bag sales this year? <laughs> uh, not yet. Y'all are just asking the same question over and over again. This jazz, jazzad did not get their answer. Let's All right. This one. Does anyone... Four. <laughs> Does anyone make a cockatiel stamp? I don't know. Do you sell storage for your stamps? The storage I like are the Brutus Monroe, um, what does he call them? Sleeves. Um, stamp sleeves. Stamp and storage sleeves, I think, or something like that. I really love those. And I put them in a shoebox standing up so I can flip through them like a file folder. Not a shoebox. I buy those cute little boxes. <laughs> LOL, I can't stop giggling. Oh, well. Thank you, Jay's dad. Oh. All right, I need a question. Security cat on the back. Well, Any we can just go. Vinny, Vinny. Is it hard to find paper, paper packs, packs in Spanish. Um, <coughs> Hold on, get my drink. To be honest, I, I don't really know. I do not see any paper packs 
from our distributors that are in Spanish, but um, I'll look and see what I can find. Photo boxes, that's what I use. Thank you guys. You don't know how much, oh, there ain't no calm in our life. How do we do that for you? Tell us so we can have it too. Oh, it's going fast. How do you store your chalk transfers? Will you stay here? Uh, Margie says she just got yelled at for being on the phone in the recovery room. <laughs> Who did? Margie. Why is she in the recovery room? Why are you in the recovery room, Margie? See, this is too tall for me. If I back up, I can't read it. Penny, that would be Amanda putting the links in and Shannon putting the links in. Amanda's blocked out. Oh, it's just Shannon. Margie said she's had, or they said she had knee surgery. What? Margie oh, wait, Margie surgery. Morrissey? Yeah. Okay, I thought it was Margie Miller. I was confused. It's Margie Morrissey, yes. Yes. It's for under your own name. I can't, don't have access. But I haven't been deactivated. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm the only person that gets deactivated around here. Here's how I store. Wait. Am I upside down? Now, let me take this out. Here's how I store my chalk chore transfers. Can you hold it like that? I'll back up. Hold it. This is a um, portfolio <laughs> from... Amazon. Check it out. And this is how I do mine. This is my Wilson impersonation. This is the smaller of the two. I have a bigger one too. It's not perfect, okay? What does that say to me? But it's, it's pretty good. To me. Oh, it's gone. This is on Amazon. They're called, Amanda, are they not? Oh, what's the name of them? Will you put a link to these? Zaza, I can't remember the name of them. Uh, yes, we are going to a house tour as soon as the boys' um, shower curtain comes in, which I thought it came in today, but it was your book, not a shower oh, curtain. Okay, the new way you use your 15% off in the store is when you put your stuff in the cart, there is a spot for you to put club member and apply. That's how you get your discount. And I have a video on the channel everywhere. We put a video everywhere for you guys to see that. There's a good chance we'll have another Made It Con in Texas. We like Made It Con in Texas. And since Jared is going his, do his PhD, we'll still be on the same place, I'm guessing. Um, can I show how my... Amanda, would you grab a box of my stamps? Do you mind? Okay. Amanda's getting her steps in. I went over there, but that's way far. She's got to go way to the back. The short, the just one of, yeah, just one of the boxes. Uh, to become a club member, you go to our website, www.mamamadeit.com. And there is a uh, a tab for clubs, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Shannon's going to put the link in. Diane, uh, message or call Amanda May we've been or Amber made and for maybe I'm over answering twenty my, years. One second. Message or call Amber or Amanda or use the chat and let them know you're having trouble with your code because they need to kind of be more specific to tell you the answer. Please come and then to yes, twenty me. years. Sorry, I was just want to answer. I should have said the question. They need to know. There's the link for Stamp Club. Margie asked, did, I think Amanda, were you answering Margie? What, I, no, I I, I, it was a table question. I'm not sure. It went quick. Something, now they're going quick. Now that I've begged for questions. Okay. You had to run your mouth. Yep. These are my stamps. And I put them, for the most part, some of them I have not put in yet, like this one. For the most part, they go into one of these little binders, and I label them at the top. But you're going to see I have two sets in there. I have a clean set I show online, and then I have the stamp, I, the set I actually use. But I do them like this because it's easy to just go bloop, bloop, bloop. Now, I do not have any big enough for my 6 by 8 so I just put them in the back of one of these shoe boxes. And I find this works for me. It's a quick and easy for me to get to them. And I'm a person who is out of sight, out of mind. If I put these away somewhere, close them behind a the door, I'll forget and I won't use them. Margie wants to know if she can buy a table for Alex at Craft Acropolis. Um, I, I don't know what's, I don't know what all is available. So let me let Amanda answer that to you. What is it? She wants to know if she can get a table for Alex at um, Craft Acropolis. I don't know. I just don't want to say yes or no because I, I don't mean, know what's on there. They're available online. Okay, so check out online. And somebody asked about the pink and white uh, tool. Um, we don't have access to that anymore. Can't get it. I have some up here, though. Oh. The embossing. Is it the right oh, one? Oh, no, it's back? not the right it's one. It's the older, or, or, or. The correct one or the wrong one? You reordered, and it had different little balls. That's the wrong on one. It. Right. Okay, we don't have them. 
Yes, he. I think Vince answered that. We need to be saying the question. Somebody asked if we would have another made at Con in Texas. Yeah, more than likely. More than likely. Let's see. I think we're getting close. Oh, when will you be coming to the West Coast? I have no idea. So far away. Please bring Craft Acropolis to Texas. We talked about it. We're talking about it. Do you have any videos on how to start a business with your crafts? No, because I'm going to tell you something. It, that is, it is a hard, hard, hard thing to do. The thing about starting a business and crafting is you have to have an audience that wants to buy your stuff. And the whole reason I don't sell what I make is because I teach how to make it and I don't sell it. There's, it's just, it's so hard. And nowadays it's gotten really, really hard. Any of you guys, y'all know, if you go to these shows and you put up, you spend all that time making all that stock and everything, and you go to these shows and people just walk around with a camera taking pictures so they can get ideas, it's gotten so hard to make a living at crafting. In my opinion, the best way to make a living in crafting is to teach or to invent. <laughs> and that's about the two ways you can do it now. That sounds like a downer, but it's true. Do y'all think that's true? It's hard. I mean, you'll have like, let's say I have a whole, I've made 50,000 of these for a show I have coming up, right? And these are super cool and a lot of fun. But people will come in and look at it and they'll just make it. It's hard to make a living in crafting nowadays. See if anybody agrees. I don't know if they do or not. New, um, North Carolina. I love, I want to go to the Carolinas. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing to make money in crafting is this. Come up with something really unique and that really fits a bill, fits, that fits a niche market, right? But before you release it, protect it. That's what you got to do nowadays. Because social media shows it and then everybody makes it. Like, if you invented one of these, which is like a little photo holder, if you invent this, protect it before you show it and take and wait on it. Oh, I got the hiccups. Some people don't want to wait for the protection to come in. And let me tell you something. Trademarks and patents and um, what's else? Copyrights? Copyrights don't take that long. Trademarks? Mine took at least a year to get a trademark for May May Made It. Um, patents depend. I don't have any patents, and it's not something that I look to do. I like to sell other people's stuff. So if y'all make a great product, I, talk to me. I want to sell it. But <laughs> I would rather sell other people's products than invent because it's really hard nowadays. But I promise you this. If you want to start a business, you got to find that thing nobody. You got to fill a market, fill something that's missing, and protect yourself before you release it. And then be prepared to protect your patent. Be prepared to protect your trademark. Be have an attorney. Get good, get wise counsel. So, shouldn't have got me on that subject, should you? That's a whole, I love to talk business. I love to talk about it. But, see, Laura says, I see, I sell a lot of what I make on Facebook. That's awesome. That's awesome. I hope you can. Patents are very expensive. That's why I'm saying if you're going to get a patent, you got to be prepared to protect your patent, which is a, which is the whole, the deeper part of it. Because like everybody else, there, okay, there's inspiration and there's imitation. And that's where we have a problem. When, when you create something really cool, oh, there it is. The storage folders are Itoya. That's the name of those storage folders. When you create something and somebody is inspired by it, that's one thing. But when you make something and somebody imitates it, that's another thing that it can put you out of business, especially nowadays because there's so many big companies out there that can just swoop in and knock you down. It's really hard. It's really hard. And in some cases, another thing you're you might be doing something for years and then all of a sudden somebody come in and take it away from you. So that's the thing. Just be careful. Protect yourself. Um, my attorney would be so proud of me for saying that to y'all. Yes, he would. <laughs> He'd be like, "You're giving good advice. Good." All right, I can't make more than one of something, girl. Oh, Barb. Who's Barb sound like? Uh-huh. Listen, in my years of crafting, I have made stuff, and people go, I love that. Will you make me one? And I'm just like, oh, I don't want to do it again. I did it already. I want to do something else. I've already done that one. Um, I, for a little while, had a business selling um, Christmas purses. I love to make Christmas purses. They were fun. And I and the thing is, I like to make a bunch of different kinds and put them out and let people pick them, have one of a kinds, right? But every time somebody would see one, they wanted that one over and over again. And I was just like, I can't do it. I just can't. I did it one Christmas. <clears throat> and I did good. But I cannot make the same thing over and over again. That is what happened with um, Topper Stoppers. Everyone's doing them. The thing is, she has a patent. So... What happens is 
people, this is what people have to pay attention to. And I'm going to say this so y'all hear me and don't, do not fuss, okay? Listen. When she has a patent, when she's ready to enforce her patent, all those people who are making them will have to stop if they're making exactly her product. She patented her product or applied for her patent before anybody saw her product. Therefore, when she gets her patent, she can enforce it and all that has to stop. That's where people get angry. That's where people get so mad. But wait a minute, I'm making these and you don't have, a, you don't have the monopoly. Yeah, they do. Because it was her brainchild. She's the one who went... Let me say this. She's the one who created it and applied for a patent. So it, that's what happens. People get angry about that stuff. Um, and a pending patent? Listen, if you applied first and you get it, it's yours. Somebody has a question about my mama. How's my mama, Vinny? She's still here. <laughs> You think Earl's gonna be mad at me for that? <laughs> if you let them know you call Edna her Earl, Earl. Uh, Edna oh. Earl, that's what I call her. <laughs> she he calls her Edna Earl, and, and now it's just shortened to Earl half the time. Yeah, Earl is fine. What is Earl doing? She is. Oh, she has Joe this week. Well, well she don't have Joe yet. She gets him today because Joe's on the way back from youth camp. Yeah, he was at youth camp in Florida, and then he's on the way back to her, so she'll I have mean, Joe. Good night. It's the end of June, and he hadn't been there to live yet. So I mean, his summer vacation's almost over, and he hadn't even went to his summer home. Our baby boy is. Uh, he, he calls my mama's house his summer home, yeah. and he waited this year because he had a lot to do before he could go. So, how's your dad? You want me to say it? He's still here. I don't he's mean still that. Here. No, he's doing good. He's still here, but I don't mean it like you said it. <laughs> and I didn't mean that bad about her. No either. one you know thinks that. Her. Everyone knows you love my mama. Yeah. As long as she stays in her city. As long you as she stay stays in her city. We we're, we're just all. kidding. They are fine. <laughs> People are really going to think it. No, they don't. Listen, my if mama. They know me. They know I don't feel that way. My mama loves Vinny mm -hmm. so much. She said, if we get divorced, he can come home, but I can't. So there you go. She literally said that. He has a place, but I don't. What she said was, I got her out of my house. Now she's your trouble. Scripture Club reveal at 3 o'clock today. Oh, I want to show y'all so bad. No. Okay. I'm upside down, so you couldn't. She won't let me show y'all. I want to so bad. It's so cute. They're right there? Well, they're so well, close, too. Well, hidden here. Her samples are over there. The samples what I want to show. No. Right that here. shows the set. It's so cute. They're so close. My mama says the same thing about Mark, Janet said. Yep. It's only 11.56. All right, guys. got to make them wait. I think y'all have had enough of us today. I promise you have. I promise you've had enough. But you get a little more at 3 o'clock. <laughs> I'm missing you goodies in the store. I, oh, yeah, because I can't go through all that again. No. You didn't say hi to Landon. Hello, Landon. What's up, Landon? Landon who? He's hey, Landon. A What's up? Grandson of who? I didn't see that one. A six-year-old grandson oh. of... Oh, What's up, Landon? Ivy. Thanks for watching. OMG, how do you make that album? AP White 35. This one? There's a video on her channel. This one? There's that. This one? Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> that one? It's on my channel. I have a four-part video of that, I think. Sean's planning to visit the store. Thank you, Amy. I haven't talked to him forever. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. <laughs> are we just going to be talking our business over here? A little bit. Okay. A little bit of heartbreaking and business talk. I think that's it. I think everybody's slowing down. Oh, thank you. Pink is not my color. And search is tint. I should have paid attention to that. It literally is like... Dun, 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 All right. I'm going to go. Everybody here is ready to go. Ready to go get stuff fixed after this call. I'm after, after this because I'm sure there's a lot of things we need to get in packages and shipped out the door. And it's Friday. So, y'all want us to get that done, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's an album you can carry around easily. The link is in there. And it sits. Oh, she put the link in. And it sits flat. And it's beautiful. And this is my second one. I have one for myself. This one we're giving away, by the way. If you want to get this one, um, you can get it on. Yeah, the giveaway is in the blog that I just posted. The giveaway is in the blog that she just posted. She just posted the link. All right, guys. We love y'all very much. And we will see you um, the rest of the week. And you'll see us around. And we'll talk to you then.